All right, this is dusk at the racetrack. We're standing on top of the grandstand right now. And uh, this is, we're getting towards the end of our trip. We're gonna do a little uh, moonlight tonight. And uh, uh, hey everybody, this is Greg. Hello. Greg, what are you drinking t for first off? Drinking coffee. Okay, that good. That was brewed this morning, but it's still relatively hot. Good, good. Yep. Um, so, all right, give, give me, um, let's do a little breakdown. I want to get your thoughts uh, on the weekend so far. And uh, while we're, we're, we're kind of recapping up here in one of the coolest parts of Death Valley. So, yeah, have at it, man. Well, it's hard, it's hard not to be biased about if you ask what, what was the highlight. Because there, there really were so many. Of course, I'm biased right now because I'm sitting in the smack dab in the middle of one of the greatest wonders of the world here. But um, it's really just been one highlight after another. And... Uh, I mean, both in terms of historical sites with the Big Bell Mine to natural wonders with Fall Canyon and, and this. Um, just just an incredible, challenging itinerary, um, but one that we were up to and, and I think a lot of people could be up to. And I just, I, this, is, this is really something I'd recommend to anybody who wants to see Death Valley at its best. Yeah, this is good. Um... In fact, uh, the lighting on, on this shot here is really quite perfect right now. We've seen probably three, four sunsets. This is our fourth sunset yeah. out here in the park, and every one of them's been absolutely spectacular. I mean, we're sitting in here in November. It's about 3,000 feet up here on this lake bed, and, um, and uh, we're, we're sitting comfortably in some, some uh, thermals and... and, uh, and, and Anticipating it's going to get colder later, but um, I'm actually going to pan out as we keep talking here about our trip. But uh, there's a fellow down here. You can kind of get a sense of scale of how big this is. There's a guy. I'll zoom in on him. He's been walking around. There he is. Probably has no idea. I wonder if he's going to sign a release for this. <laughs> as long as it's just a silhouette, I think we don't need a release. Uh, he's He's... Digging a for a hole for a body. <laughs> Do we have to report that? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, yeah, so the, the, a little little more historical fact here. I mean, this is this is just a fun little video here. Probably no one's gonna watch past this point, but I don't care. Um, it's uh, you know the the, uh, the guidebook said that drug dealers used to use this because it's so flat. They used to use this as a as a landing strip. This um, is freaky to think about. Yeah, and it's hard to get a sense of scale from up here, but, I mean, you, you're surrounded by mountains, and nothing in Death Valley is flat until you get to here, and it is flat as a table when you get down there. Um, it is pretty pretty amazing to get down on this, uh, this racetrack here. Um, and, uh, okay, so... Um, what do you think, uh, what do you think, uh, you know, you've learned on this trip about, uh, you know, camping, I guess we've, we're now what, four days from a shower. Yeah. We're pretty dirty. Can you smell me? Whoever's watching, can you smell me from here? Cause I really stink. Stink, stank yeah. nasty. Yeah. Yeah. But it's been, it's been epic. And, um, yeah, someone who's not camped a ton. Um, definitely great experience. Learned a few things. Um, yeah, it's been great. You know, I'd, I'd say, too, that Death Valley is one of these places that kind of reveals itself to you. It's not, there's a lot of grandeur, but at the same time, there's a lot of, you just kind of have to be patient and uh, let let things come to you and experiences will will pop out. I think that's uh, that's my lesson for all the folks that are uh, watching this on their iPads while they're uh, taking a dump or while they're watching their kids. I don't know why, both. why, I, why I actually combine those two. Yeah, you could be doing both. Well, well I don't even know why I had, I had to say those two in a row. <laughs> I could say that, I could have said, while you're you know, waiting for a train or something else. Yeah, anyway. But, but more people take a dump or watch their kids. That's probably right. Trains. Yeah, that's, that's a good common. point. Um, oh yeah, so one of the places where we're camping tonight we're, we're actually uh, camping, sorry for this fast zoom there. Um, we're camping all the way in that valley there. Uh, you can actually just see 
the silhouette of a little, uh, not silhouette, but you can see a little trail, and that's like a little circular um, place right there, and our camp is somewhere in that circle, probably on the left side of that circle. Um, and, uh, oh, look, there's somebody coming. That's one of our, that's our campmates from Canada. Yeah. Hey. Hey, are you guys interested in this? If you, you are, hit like. Don't you like it when people say that? Like, <laughs> hey, this is a great video. Uh, hit like. Because you have to be told, really, to like something. Yeah, hit like. Yeah. Hit like if you like this. That's what, that's what Picasso did with his, with his works. He'd be like, you have to like this. This is not Picasso. No. This is so not Picasso. We should be begging people to like this <laughs> because this is horrendous. All right. Now, this is a good video. Um, this is a, a good little wrap-up, and now I'm going to start looking at Death Valley with my own eyes. And uh, any uh, parting shots from, from Greg here? Uh, so yeah, get out. Uh, go Broncos. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, okay. that's bad. All right, everybody.